taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lights here, we're back with another video guys, we're going to talk about a few Arbitrum projects, some degen, some not, so degen, alright guys, um, in the wake of the Arbitrum airdrop, which I did manage to get, I did talk about that on the channel, alright guys, how I plan to get it, and I was successful in getting a nice little Arbitrum airdrop, which is worth, you know, at least something at the time of recording this video, even after a huge pullback or dump from Arbitrum. I believe that the long-term potential for Arbitrum is going to be astronomical, potentially, right, sitting at around a 1.5, 1.6 million market cap, maybe less than that at the time of recording this video. But um, messing around on the ecosystem could potentially make you some real good gains in this market, All right, guys? There's certain farms that you can actually use your Arbitrum on right now, so I like a few of the ones that we're going to look at right now. However, I wouldn't recommend um, using farms. I'd recommend single staking with the Arbitrum token, which doesn't seem to be available. But I will take a look anyway. Um, we're going to look at Sharky Swap. This is one that I talked about on the channel previously, and it looks like a pretty degen, but uh, with huge upside potential opportunity right now. We'll take a look at the chart on this but also before we do um if you did get the arbitrum airdrop and you're thinking what are the next airdrops to get on arbitrum uh, there is one called velad which i've talked about on the channel right this is a decentralized perpetual exchange which you can uh, play around with okay guys and uh, potentially get an airdrop on this token we're not going to look at the chart or anything like that but i have been trading on here in the hope that I could get an airdrop. I've been staking a little bit on here as well. In the hope that using it will enable me to get an airdrop of some of these Vela tokens. Okay, guys. So it's is pretty as simple. If you trade on a decentralized exchange exchange before, it's really no different to a centralized exchange, but it's decentralized. You can actually collect connect your MetaMask and so on. So you just come over to Vela Exchange. And uh, click the trade button. Uh, you will need to come over to your account. When, if, if it's your first time using it, it will give you a button to deposit right here. But if not, you just come over to account, deposit crypto. But you will need to deposit USDC. And then you can then come over to trading. And then you can basically long or short. You know, uh, it's limited in the tokens that you're able to trade on this exchange. But um, you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, Solana, and so on, as you can see here. And I'm sure over time, they'll add a lot more products for you to, or trading pairs for you to trade on here. All right, guys. But I think messing around on here, with even just a small amount of money, um, there's potential for you to get an airdrop once this goes live. Even just opening, close, uh, opening trades and closing them in short losses or short gains or whatever. Uh, small losses or small gains or whatever. I think there's potential just by using it. All right, guys, we saw massive airdrops on things like DYDX, for example, right? And, um, you know, these things are not something to sniff at, especially, you know, the, just the amount of free money that's out there is just unbelievable in crypto. And, um, yeah, I think Vela, this has a potential to be a blue chip. In fact, if we look at the market cap for Vela right now, um it's super it's super low super cheap 36 million in market cap okay guys fully diluted at 233 million um the max supply is 50 million tokens circulating in uh, 7 million okay and uh, so four dollars and 67 cents it was a lot higher than that on my previous video i think it was about seven dollars seven dollars and 45 cents but um, yeah, it's a super new project, guys, and um, obviously it's part of the Arbitrum ecosystem, so lots of potential for gains on this. So go and mess around with Vela, not financial advice, it's not a sponsored video or anything like that, but I think there's potential to get an airdrop on this token. Okay, guys. Now looking at Sharky, uh, so I talked about this previously in previous videos. If we go on the four-hour chart, right, we were all the way up here uh, when I talked about this last time, okay, guys, but since then, of course, we had a huge sell off because this is a huge farming token with some degen APRs. But if you look at the chart right now, uh, it looks like it well, this would have been a great time to buy, okay? It did, let's just do a measured move, it did around a 14x, okay, guys, but it has pulled back and it does seem to be finding a little bit of stabilization. It's got a little bit of a double bottom here, and it looks like this could potentially be a one wave. 
with an ABC correction and it could potentially do a free way but if you look at the potential upside on this project right of course you see this is right now sitting just under 16 cents and um, in previous videos this was this went all the way up to around 11 dollars okay guys so um, obviously it's a massive sell-off you do expect to see that sometimes in these farming tokens especially in the early stages it launched on about 17th of february and um, by uh, you know within 10 days you know there was lots of gains made over here uh, with super degen aprs and stuff like that but um, of course, that dump was bound to come sooner or later. But um, these guys are still building. It's 355k in market cap, so super degen, still under a million. Of course, it went up to a lot more than uh, a million before, but it's under a million right now. But they are still building, and they've rebranded the website. Okay, guys, now you don't need to jump in this with a whole bunch of money, right? I'm not, like, you know, betting the farm on it, right? Because at the end of the day, it's super degen, right? But uh, you can see the APRs are still pretty good. We got 2,568% APR on the farms, uh, 2,500, got 2,600. This is actually an Arbitrum pair. I did jump in and jump out of that. But, um, you know, I'd rather not risk uh, any impermanent loss on my Arbitrum tokens that I am holding right now. If the price of Arbitrum does come down, I would like to scoop up some more of that as well. But the airdrop, I am at least holding on to it. And, um, you know, if I can get some single staking, uh, you know, I would just you know kind of single stake that in a pool on one of these exchanges that we're going to look at if it was available it's not available right now but um you can see that you can pair it up with usdc or wrapped ethereum your arbitrum tokens or even a native token for this particular project sharky and get some pretty aggressive aprs and these guys have been consistent with the aprs actually for a while so they're still offering a juicy api it won't last forever of course um i think once it reaches um is it two billion or something two million um a uh, two billion uh, uh once the emissions gets to a certain uh, place the emissions will stop on this okay guys so it's about taking advantage of it while it's available um but you can see uh, the aprs are pretty competitive so there's lots of you know incentive to getting into this um you know for one it being a super low cap with huge potential upside low liquidity low market cap and all of this you know this huge gap like all this is lack of resistance going upwards and um they are still building like i said uh, of course they've been around for you know just over a month about a month and a half at the time of recording this video so it doesn't look like any sort of exit scam at the moment um so yeah i really like this one and of course it's super degen again so you know don't risk more than what you can afford to lose it's not financial advice and so on but um yeah um if you want to look at a project with potential that hasn't launched yet okay this is one called arb packer and which i shared with my telegram group and uh, this one will be launching soon it's not going to have super degen aprs it's up to 400 percent um or so it says here i think you know making it a little bit more attractive uh, is probably going to get you know drawing most of the tvl um, at the beginning but of course sometimes you know going super degen people kind of turn their nose up at it so uh you know these guys seem to have a sensible apr 400 percent apy um uh you know but we don't know what the farms are going to look like yet because that is not launched yet and this project has not launched yet with one billion total supply the token ticker for this will be fleece and um yeah just potential to kind of you know capitalize on some gains in the arbitron ecosystem um this one designed well it looks okay i recommend you join the telegram group and you know it's super uh it's super early uh, but the telegram group is kind of getting a few members in there but of course they want to market this thing before they launch it so that could be a potential contender for some gains you might want to jump into the white paper and uh, read up on it and do your, your own research on that and so on all right guys but our packer this is just a bonus token um that you know i'm looking to potentially get into i did kind of sign up to get one of the nfts which actually gives you some dividends um apparently so um you know i did i got into the gleam contest um to kind of see if i can get a hold of one of these nfts super early um you can read all about in your own time you get some of the trading fees and so on gets paid out in die um stable coin uh, so yeah i really like this one i like the look of it early stages but you know only time will tell whether they can actually do 
pretty well. Um, but yeah, Ard Packer, that is another one that I'm looking at. The final one that I wanted to talk about, which I haven't got into yet, but I am looking at it, um, is Oriole Swap. Okay, so Oriole Swap. Um, the reason why um, I'm not um, rushing into this one is because when you look at the chart, it has actually kind of pumped. A pullback is always the best place to get in. If this came all the way back down to around 20 cents and kind of halved its price at the moment, that might be a good time to get in on any sort of support level. Um, the reason why I think that, uh, you know, it looks pretty good is because it had that pump, it came down and it didn't just fall all the way to the wayside. Okay, guys, and it's starting to move again. So 1.4 million market cap with almost half a million in liquidity. So it seems pretty good. Uh, the APRs are not as degen as Sharky Swap. Okay, guys, but like I said, you know, it's going to attract a more, um, you know, sensible investor. I would say, okay, although the, the APRs are still higher, 562% on Oreo, um, uh, paired with ETH, and 619% uh, on Oreo paired with USDC, you can actually stake or farm some Arbitrum tokens with Oreo for 488% here as well, so if you want to put your Arbitrum tokens to work, you can do that, you can also farm GMX for 70%, okay, with that ethereum and for those of you that are into the meme coins we talked about arbor inu on the channel previously as well you can actually farm using arb inu on here paired with wrapped ethereum for a degen 681 percent as well so pretty competitive aprs you can also uh, uh earn on just state single stake in ethereum on here for 105 percent apr so if you're holding ethereum on arbitrum or you did sell your Arbitrum, for example, and you want to stake it, stake the Ethereum, you can earn 105% APR single staking, but there is a 5% deposit fee, of course. And um, yeah, I think that this one looks pretty good on the surface, but again, only time will tell whether this will perform in the long term. It's two and a half million TVL lot, so it's still super early. The TVL on Sharky is 645 thousand i think at one point this was over like 20 million it might have been more if i remember correctly i might be mistaken but it was it was a lot more than 10 15 million at one time and um, of course the tvl is down now but um the thing that i you know the, the thing that i want to take notice of is the fact that this was all before uh the arbitrum actually launched a token so there's going to be a lot more people drawn into the arbitrum ecosystem the arbitrum ecosystem has way more TVL than Matic, Polygon, Optimism, and, you know, just the main competitors right now on Layer 2, for example. And, um, yeah, Arbitrum seems to be leading in terms of TVL. It's got a lot of users right now. And I don't believe it's going to decrease. I think it's actually going to increase because they did order this without even having a token. It's having a token, having governance and things like that. I think that, you know, a lot of the there's a lot of potential for a lot of these projects to actually skyrocket in price as long as they are legitimate projects, as long as they continue to build and as long as they market their 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 platforms, I think we could make some gains on these platforms. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, that's it for this video. Again, you can go and use Vela Exchange. Okay, guys, um, this could be the next GMX. We don't know. But um, yeah, I'd take advantage if I was you. Not financial advice. But that's it for this video. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for notifications, like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.